What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Columbus 1492 fifth wheel. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably remember the 1492 from Columbus. I featured one actually with this exact same floor plan, but it was a 2020 model. So for 2021, they've done some things different, and I want to show you those because, in my opinion, the interior has some really cool changes in, in terms of tones and some of the things that they've done that really stand out. Out. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Now guys, I'm not going to make this video too long. I'll quickly highlight some of the exterior stuff. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because, again, I've done a full video on pretty much the same floor plan just one year prior to this one. So you might want to look at that if you want more details. But real quick, it does have the upgraded Moride rubber pin box on the front of it. It is an upgraded pin box, which is really nice. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,150 pounds, has a cargo capacity relatively high of 2,968 pounds, almost 3,000 pounds of cargo capacity. Rides on 7,000 pound axles, G-rated. So this has a pretty good setup, and once we get to the suspension, you'll see what they've done to kind of enhance that as well. This has 30 pound propane tanks on each side, huge storage that is kind of the story behind this unit from the outside it has these massive massive storage compartments you actually have two doors to access it so two large storage baggage doors and then you have one large one on the other side to access it as well tons and tons of storage you have your pure sine wave power inverter here plus your auto leveling system and it is the hydraulic auto leveling system and you can see this massive aluminum structured bath deck above Plus it has a centralized vacuuming system, which is really nice. And the much thicker baggage doors with slam latch. And again, you get two of these here to access this huge storage space, which is really, really nice. Plus your wet bay, very clean. All your controls are right here. I do wish they'd make like a raised area here just in case any water drips down. It can drain without kind of being trapped here and perhaps seal off the bottom here. This does ride on a drop frame, which is one of the reasons for having such a huge storage area. And if you look right here, it is an 8-inch I-beam frame, and it's attached to a 10-inch beam that's reinforced underneath with a boxed section. Again, it does have the hydraulic level-up system. This has Westlake G-rated tires, which are actually pretty good quality tires. It does have a rack and pinion slide system over here, and this utilizes the Moride Pre 3000 suspension, and you can see the boxed section that it's attached to. Overall, suspension, running gear, all of that is really good. Right here is likely going to be the back of your residential style refrigerator. This is how you winterize the unit. Coming back, freshwater drain. Has an electric cord reel as well to retract your 50 amp cable has a four inch square bumper on the back, has a two inch receiver for cargo rack, accessory rack that you might wanna to put to carry bikes, things like that. All LED lighting, full walk on roof. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera and it does have frameless windows. I love the high gloss exterior that you get on these Columbus units. And this is the higher end Columbus. So they have the standard Columbus compass, which is right here. And you can see that it has more of kind of a matted finish to it. Then you have the standard Columbus, which is an upgrade, which has a gloss finish. Then you have the Columbus 1492 package that is actually a step up from the normal Columbus. Coming around. This does have the option for a generator, even though this one wasn't specced in with it or the prep. Has dual battery boxes there, and you can see all your hydraulic systems for the slides and landing gear. This is gonna be your other propane tank. This is gonna be the other side of your outside storage. Again, nice thick baggage doors. Right here, this is really cool. So they give you an area to retract and extend your slides from outside, which can come in really handy, especially on this side, if you're parked close to something like trees and you wanna make sure you're gonna clear them. So that's really nice. You can see some of your plumbing up front here, but it is kind of pushed way up front and you still have this huge storage area so it doesn't really interfere with it, plus your battery disconnect and the outside of your central vacuuming system. 
huge slam latch doors, really nice. Outside of your water heater and the outside of your furnace has a Schwintec slide up here. You can see some LED lighting on the awning and on the sides, which is really nice. And it has twin awnings. So you have this large awning here and then you have another second awning right over here all frameless windows. And this does have the TST TPMS system or the tire pressure monitoring system already installed inside of the tires. Plus they give you their one, two, five lifetime warranty. This also has the Moride step above step system. Nice Columbus badging right here. Let's take a look inside of this 382 FB. Again, I've walked through this floor plan before, but this is an updated version for 2021. So, you can probably see what's been updated if you watched the previous video. The previous one was pretty much all dark tones. This one is all light tones, except with a few areas where they contrasted it to give it some dark accents. Absolutely beautiful. Has the MCD day-night roller shades in it as well. Nice light colored valances. Nice theater seating here, electric. I like the side-by-side -side cup holders as well. And this is actually a little bit lower priced. So it has an MSRP of $91,932 and a sale price of $67,634. This folds out into almost a king size bed here at the end, which is really nice. You have your entertainment system right here. Nice panoramic fireplace, JBL sound system. I can imagine how good that sounds. You have a flip out TV right here as well, which gives you tons of storage behind the TV, which is also really nice. You know, for me, if we had this unit, that's probably where I'd keep all my camera gear. Out of the way, don't have to worry about the wife putting it somewhere because I left it out. Right here, this is a really, really nice upgraded stove, and this is a Greystone. So a lot of people aren't used to seeing the Greystone version of this. So people typically have seen the Insignia, but now Greystone is competing in this residential style stove oven setup. So really nice four burner cooktop. Again, this is a Greystone unit. And quite frankly, these things look absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot to like about what Greystone and what other manufacturers are doing in terms of giving you more of a residential feel. And this is an upgrade. So the previous model that I showed you did not have this upgraded stove oven combo. Above it, you have a really nice convection microwave. There's no custom backsplash. I kind of wish it had that, maybe some type of a tile or even a faux tile. It does have a power charging station right here, which is kind of an odd place for it. I guess at night it would be fine, but if you plan on cooking, you probably don't want your smartphones and things plugged in next to your stove. At least don't forget that you have them there if you are cooking. I do like the darker accent wallboard right here. And then you have some nice storage on each side of the microwave. Coming back here, really nice drawers, and they are soft closing drawers. A lot of storage underneath the large stainless steel single basin sink. Nice high-end fixtures, and this really cool little rack system. I've started seeing these go on sale on a lot of the home shopping channels. I don't know if you guys have seen them as well. The perk is that you, know, you can wash vegetables and do stuff like that, and the water just drains through, which is a pretty valid perk has an LG French door style refrigerator. Really nice. A Little bit of storage space on top if you wanna use it for that. And this was kind of that area that a lot of people really loved about the other one that I showed you before. Still stuck with the darker wood tones in here, but it's a really cool walk-in pantry area. You can store just about anything you want in here. You can put your coffee station in here. Your power connection is gonna be right here in the back. What would be kind of cool is if they had an option in here to turn this into a desk. Like you don't get these side parts and you just get it kind of an overhang desk because I think this would be a great office space. Though kind of small, I think it would be fine for an RV. I mean, you kind of expect that RVs are gonna have smaller, more compact versions of everything. So have a small office in here as an option. I think a lot of people would utilize it. The only thing is you don't get a lot of storage outside of the kitchen. So you'd still probably want some of the cabinetry and stuff to use as a pantry. And then you have some really nice doors that close to kind of cover the area up. Over here you have really nice storage right when you walk in. More storage up top. You have your LCI one control 
smart system right here, which controls essentially everything going on with the unit from your slides, your air conditioning units, lighting, all of that stuff. Let's walk up the steps. There is no carpet in this unit. Some people will really appreciate that. King size bed. You have some really nice storage shelves up top here. So if you have your smartphones, things like that, you don't have the lower ones to bump your head on. You can simply put them up top. And a really interesting faux marble kind of wallboard to the back there. It's interesting. I'd call it a headboard, but it's not really a headboard because you have a window there. You have a barn style sliding door here that would close off the bedroom from the living room area. And this is really a couple's unit because the bathroom is on the opposite side of the bedroom. So in order to use the bathroom for guests, they'd have to walk through your bedroom to get to it. But this isn't uncommon. Some floor plans would feature like a half bath where that pantry is right there. So it really comes down to personal preference. You may hate it that way, you may love it that way, but it's just the option. This has twin whisper quiet air conditioning systems, one over there and then one here inside of the master bedroom. And lots of wardrobe here, not incredibly deep wardrobe, but you do get a good amount of wardrobe here. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. And then when you come inside of the bathroom, you have even more. So you have dual basin sinks right here. You have really, really nice bowls as well. And they are stone bowls on top of a solid surface countertop. Really nice mirror, and it's gonna have an LED backlit to it, but this unit doesn't have power at the moment. And this is on a slide. So this is a slide face right here. And then you have more storage underneath the sink. You have some drawers right there. You have a place for a washer and dryer, stackable unit right here, or extra closet space if you need it. And then you have a wonderful walk-in closet right here. A lot of room in here. Really, really nice. Plenty of place for shoes. It kind of passes over into the washer and dryer space but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous closet. And then you have this newer shower that a lot of people are starting to see as kind of standard on these, these larger units. Beautiful, beautiful shower. Over here on the end, you have the flip down seat. Encore is kind of the brand that a lot of folks are now going with in terms of larger fifth wheels and putting a higher end looking shower inside of these units. Coming back around, Again, very, very nice floor plan. And a lot of folks really loved it when I showed that previous one. So I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of the new updated version for 2021. Columbus has always been among one of my favorite brands of fifth wheels. This is actually one of the brands that we looked at when we initially got into wanting to switch from a travel trailer to a fifth wheel, because they do a lot of things right and they look really, really great. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.